what can you say about the other characteristics of these objects, like shape, size, texture, luminosity? How else do you describe object? Is there something that could be said? So you said like this detect down radar, step one. Now you have FLIR images that can give you a sense that it's actually a physical object. What else can be said about those mm -hmm. physical objects? So eventually someone did see one with their own eyeballs, um, multiple people. And it and they saw it in a kind of somewhat interesting way. Um, the object presented itself at the exact altitude and geographic location of the entry points into our working areas. So we enter at a very specific point at a certain altitude and people leave the areas at the same point at a lower altitude. Probably one of the busiest pieces of sky on the eastern seaboard. So two jets from my squadron went out and they went flying and they entered the area and one of these objects went right between the aircraft. As so they're did. flying in formation and the object went between the aircraft. They went between the object, I think. I don't think that the object was moving. I don't think it aggressively went at them. I think it was located still there and then they flew through it. Um, but they didn't have it on their radar. Um, and that would, I think the radar might've been malfunctioning. I don't know that for sure. I would like to look into it, but my supposition is that if their radar was malfunctioning, it would make sense that they wouldn't avoid the object that was there because they knew these were physical at that point. Um, and we we would go up to these objects all the time, time and try to see them. We couldn't see them. And we didn't know what it was. Um, was it, that were they just not there and were being fooled? Was something happening? Were they were they moving, dropping L2 to the last minute? You know, we're, we're going by pretty quick, so it's difficult to tell. Um, but perhaps if his radar wasn't working, it wasn't receiving energy from the jet. And the jet, of course, didn't know that it was there. And so it, whatever the case was, they flew right by it and they described it just as a dark gray or, or black cube um, inside a clear translucent sphere. And the kind of the apex of the cube were touching the inside of that sphere. That's an image that's haunting. So what did they think it is? What did they think at that moment uh, that they, is it just this kind of cloud of uncertainty that, that they're just describing a geometric object? It's not on radar, so it's unclear what it is. Um, yeah, what was uh, the, any kind of other description they've had of it in terms of the intuition from a pilot's perspective? You know, you have to kind of identify what a thing is. Mm -hmm. To answer the first part, they they actually canceled the flight and came back because they were, you know, it's like if there's one of these out here and we're almost hitting them and it's right there, then, um, you know, perhaps we need to get a different jet with better radar. But <laughs> so they came back and they're in their gear and they're they're talking to the front desk and talking to the skipper and like, hey, we almost hit one of those damn things out there. And this kind of was one of those kind of slight watershed moments where we all were kind of like, all right, like this is a serious deal now. Yeah. You know, maybe it was a, maybe we thought they were balloons or drones or malfunctions, or maybe we thought it was spying. But at the end of the day, if we're going to hit one of these things, then we need to, you know, we need to take care of the situation. Um, and that's actually when we started submitting hazard reports or HAZREPs to the Naval, through the Naval Aviation Safety um, kind of communication network. And it's, it, you know, it's not like a, a big proactive thing where people can go investigate. It's more of a data collection mechanism so that you can kind of share that aggregate data and make sure that things are uh, progressing. Um, so it wasn't a mechanism that would result in action being taken, but we were hoping to at least get the message out to whomever was maybe running a classified program that we were not aware of or something like that, that, hey, like you could kill somebody here. Like you've, you've grown too big for your bridges here. Take a step back. Um, so that was, that was our concern at that point. That's kind of where we were thinking this was going. 